Hot 104.1, St. Louis' is source of hip-hop and R&B. It's Princess Storm. And I got my home girl in the building, <laughs> Cash Dow. Cash Dow. What's poppin'? What's up, Princess Storm? It's Where? the only, only Cash Dow. I'm in the building. What's up? Where are you coming from, Cash Dow? Because I'll be following you on Snapchat, and I got so many questions. Oh, <laughs> oh you follow my snap? You I didn't follow tell snap. me. Follow snap. Uh, well, I'm coming from Atlanta. So, how was Atlanta? It's lovely. You know, I was just there for a day, but... I just came from Atlanta. You just came from Atlanta. So I want to get right into it. Let's talk about the single for everybody. <laughs> for everybody. I'm from St. Louis. You know what that's how we talk. St. Louis? I forgot. For you know everybody. that's how we talk. For everybody. Y'all say that also. How did that song come about? Uh, you know what? Because that's just a real life situation. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? That's something that all of us have been through. Yes. Everybody in this room has been through that as a woman. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it was just something I wanted to touch bases on. That, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, it's really the guy's fault. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like really showing women when you arguing, you have to understand the point of the matter is. Yeah. Is the dude is for everybody. For everybody. For everybody. For everybody. <laughs> We're going to say it that way in St. Louis. for everybody tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, that was really my purpose of the song. And in the song, like, you was, you was playing both roles. Yeah. You was the side piece and you was wifey. You was like, hold on, I'm wifey. It's a ring right here. What you mean? Yeah. So you have been in both of those positions before? Because you played it well. I mean, I... Come on. Come on. I'm not going to say I've been in both of those positions because you can been in that position, the first position, and not know that you Definitely. You know what I'm saying? So I have been in an altercation having a conversation with someone, Mm -hmm. not wife. Yeah, I feel you though. You know, another girl like, well, I didn't even know he had a woman. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? So it just boils down to, it's the guy. Mm-hmm. It's the guy, you know what I'm saying? Because if he told the truth to me, I would have never been in the situation in the situation in the first place. So yeah, you know I have played both roles before, but I've never messed with a married man. I, I feel you. My mama will go crazy. <laughs> and then you know I just don't have it in me, so yeah. Nah. But yeah, I have. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So right now, it's your second time in St. Louis. I know you're going to turn up tonight. You're going to two clubs, and you're going to kick it afterwards. We're going to turn up all night. You're turning up. I want to know, like, your visuals, they come back to back after back. It's like mm-hmm. you don't sleep. I don't like sleeping. You don't like sleeping? Sleep when I'm dead, girl. I like getting this money. You like... <laughs> I heard these songs. I like getting this money. Like I don't like I don't like having no days off for real. And I like I like traveling. I like seeing the world. I like getting what I want. I, I like being able to afford anything that I want. So I know that I have to work for it, and that's what I do. I don't want to sleep. Yeah. What, what, what am I getting out of sleeping? Nothing. Nothing. I can sleep on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> she like, look, ain't no sleeping. Ain't no sleeping. I want to know how did it all start off? Because you started as a dancer. Mm-hmm. And I watched a couple of interviews. Like, I'm a fan. I've been watching you for a while. Uh-huh. And you was like, look, when I used to be on stage, I was rapping the songs anyway. Yeah. I wasn't supposed to be doing this. Nah, cause I've I never, been a rapper. Yeah, I never danced. I, I, well, I've been in rapping since since uh, middle school. I mm-hmm. had a sixth grade rap called the sixth grade Cadillac. Okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I've been a rapper. I just never thought that I could be cash off. Okay. I never thought I could be her. So, you know, I just never took it serious. I used to write poems and everything. You know, I used to walk in front of the crowd, freestyle, and going home from high school. Like, I always had it in me. Like, anybody that went to school with me and stuff, I tell you that. But I just never thought I could be her, mm-hmm. you know. And then I ha- had started dancing. You know, well, I had, first off, I don't never want to skip the real the real hust- the real grind. Like, right. I had jobs. You know, yeah. I didn't work the best by you, t- you said you had three jobs at one I time. I had three jobs at one time at one point in time. So it's like Better Made Chip Factory. I was a janitor. Like, I like making money. Mm-hmm. So it just wasn't like I came from out of school. And I did. I went to school. I went to Henry Ford Community College. Okay. So it ain't like I came straight out of high school and dancing. went to dancing. Yeah. No, you know what I'm saying? I worked my way into like, let me just figure this out. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So once I started dancing, I think dancing helped me get that confidence to realize I am cashed out and I can be a rapper and mm-hmm. I can do this. You know, so I did dance for like a year and, um, you know, I made $26,000. Turn now up. I took a bra off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just, I got my cheese out of it. I got my money and I started rapping. Mm-hmm. And it was over. And the rest is history because this is really what I want to do. You know, when I started dancing, of course, I got in a position where I needed to make money. And, you know, um, I had to move back with my mom. And I'm like, oh, and I got to get the shoes. Yeah. I got to get back out of here. I had to move back with my mom. Yeah. So I, I, I moved back with my mom, started, cleaned up, left, and pursued 
everything I wanted to do. We talked the other day, me and a couple people here, uh, one of my managers, Stacy. we was talking, and we was like, dudes always be looking like um, girls that were dancers. It's kind of hard for them to transition into a rapper. But dudes that sell drugs... Yeah. It's easy for y'all to be the it's dopest easy. rapper. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. a stereotype in a sense. Exactly. It's like, we get the backlash, but y'all good? Right, and it's the same thing as that, but ours more ours legal. We ain't killing nobody. Exactly. I'm, we ain't selling that. <laughs> we selling dreams and exactly. fantasies. You know what I'm saying? We're beautiful. We're, yeah. su- we're not sell. You don't have to be a dancer and have to sell, you know what I'm saying, sex. Mm-hmm. We, you know, we've no sex It's just seduction. You know it's what I'm saying? It's just seduction. You, you selling dreams. I sold yeah. a lot of dreams. I did, and I made a lot of money from that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's the same thing. It's just that dancing is way more illegal than what the street dudes is doing. Exactly. And we ain't killing nobody, even though, you know, that's their hustle. And I ain't knocking nobody hustle, but don't yeah. knock us, you know what I'm saying? Even though I did it for a year, you know what I'm saying? But... Hey, it is what it is. Yeah, I really appreciate you, and I respect you more because it seemed like you salute everybody, yeah. like all the women, you know what I For mean? Sure. From Lil' Kim, from Remy Ma, Nicki Minaj, to Trina, to sure. Cardi, like everybody. Like, you just be like, look, sis. Hey, we all I, trying to yeah, eat. Ain't I, no reason I, to hate. I ain't in competition with nobody. Like, for what? What am I getting out of that? Yeah. What am I getting out of being in competition with you for? You going to have your spot, I'm going to have my spot. I'm not in it to take nobody's spot. I'm in it to make my own. Like, mm-hmm. I ain't trying to come take your spot. Your spot probably not be for me. It might not even be as crispy as I would have done it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, not knocking nobody. I'm just saying. Like, it, it might not be as good as Cash I might have Cash down preaching. It. Y'all better listen. You feel me? So it's like, I salute you. You do your thing. As long as you don't disrespect me, we good. Like, I ain't got no problem with nobody you yeah. know what i'm saying respect me i'm gonna respect you you do you that's it i told you i follow you on instagram i follow you on snapchat and the other day you was like i got some good news but i can't share it and the video was on mute I done watched it like five times. I'm like, okay, let me look at the background. Let okay. me see what's going on. <laughs> so can you share the nope. good news? Nope. Why not? <laughs> no, no, not no. even nothing? Not even nothing. Okay. Well, nope. moving well, forward. Well, Nicki Minaj, like my, my, my post. I did com- see that. And she commented. And she commented on my stuff. So what, what was you doing? Where was you at? Put us in that moment. All right. I was in a car with my manager. Okay. And, um... <laughs> Nicki Minaj. You see me on the phone with the laptop. <laughs> like, she liked my picture, and I was like, my, Damn. Ken sent it to me, because I don't be seeing who like my stuff or whatever like that. So, you know, Ken has sent it to me. And I was like, she liked my stuff? He was like, yeah. I was like, shut up. So I posted it, because she followed me the other day. So mm-hmm. I posted it, and then she commented. And I was like, I I can't cuss. Mm-hmm. So I can't say exactly. You can curse. I can cuss? You can curse right now. I, I cut her. You can curse her now. I was like, shut the fuck up. Uh-huh. She just, what? This bitch. Bitch, she's right. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because I fuck with Nikki, right? So I'm like, oh, shit. Right? Because she don't really, really, she don't really reach out and be, she don't do that. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I was really, come on. I was really, in my, I was really in my bag. Yeah. I was really in my bag. So I was excited. I was excited and I just couldn't believe it. And I was, I was going through the airport trying to get on a plane and all of that. So it was just too much. You like, look though, Nicki Minaj fucks with me. I Nikki yeah, dude, y'all guess Remy you. Cr- do, Trina do, everybody, you know, every all of them do. You know what I'm Drake? saying? Drake, Drake, Drizzy, Fab. You just popping. Me. Cut the check right now. We ain't even finna do this. You Cut the check right now. So, y'all prices going up. Manager and, email and look, gonna be popping. I ain't been on no TV. I ain't had no famous boyfriend to put me. You on. ain't did no little publicity I, stunts. I didn't know, but I just did the straight groundwork, all hard work, none of that, none of that extra stuff. You know. This is a real life story in the making. Yeah. People like some History. people wish for this. Yeah. Her her story. Well, yeah. 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 Appreciate that. All for the women. All for yeah, the women. women empowerment. <laughs> I rock with you. I rock with you. I appreciate that, though. Press that store. <laughs> I want to know what's next for you. You got clothing um, lines coming out. You got some jewelry coming out. Mixtapes, albums, what? I can't speak on nothing. Like, I don't want to speak on it and it don't go how I want it to go or anything like that. But just know mm-hmm. that it's a lot of big things coming. Well, I'm going to be watching, and I'm going to be telling everybody. You going to like, everybody? I'm going to tell everybody, like, hey, follow Cash, quit everybody. playing. Everybody. everybody, follow <laughs> Cash, quit playing. <laughs> okay. Where can they follow you on social media? You can follow me at Cash Doll, and that's K-A-S-H-D-O-L-L, mm-hmm. and that's Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and on Snapchat is I-A-M underscore Cash Doll. That's my favorite, Snapchat. It's your favorite? Mm-hmm. I love Snapchat. My phone died. Look, girl. Look and then, me. too, I mean, we might as well just do it the right way. You in St. Louis, and we ain't finna just let you go out like that. So, introduce your song. Oh, y'all gonna play for everybody. We gonna play for everybody. What's up? It's the 
the one and only cash doll. I'm in here with my girl, Princess Storm, and y'all about to listen to my joint for everybody. I'm in St. Louis, so it's for everybody. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Keep it like right here, y'all. Only on Hot 104.1.